Welcome to Good Day Street Talk. Antoine Lewis reporting. Here's what we're working on today. Harlem Week is that time of year again. The annual festival touches upon a timely theme this year by celebrating women as well as the LGBT community. We're going to tell you how you can take part all month long. Also, a little bit later, stomping out bullying. Still a big problem for many kids. We're going to let you know what you can do to show your support. Later still, Building Beats. Now, this group helps teenagers with leadership and business skills through their love of music. But sticking with music. It also serves as an important role in the international festival Classical Bridge. Now its purpose is to build bridges through music. I want you to meet Clara Min. She's the founder of the event. She's joined with Eric Silberger and Chris Kim, both of whom you will meet in a minute as well as why they brought their instruments with us today. We'll tell you that. Good morning to you. Good morning. So it's called Classical Bridge. Clara, how did it come about? The so Classical Bridge International Music Festival is presented by New York Concert Artists and Associates in a mission to create dynamic partnerships among musicians, music lovers, and music professionals, and to reach out to a wider range of um, audience. When, did you you when was it founded, Clara? When did you start? Uh, this is our inaugural season oh, of the okay. festival. <laughs> No pressure there. <laughs> How did it come about? Did minds just get together, or who were some of the um, the thoughts that you know put everything together? How did it come about? Well, um, as a musician myself, after graduating uh, university and conservatories, um, if you're a medical doctor or if you're a candidate for medical doctor or a lawyer, the path is very clear, but musicians is very unclear. And we, a lot of musicians suffer after graduating schools and universities. And I thought that this festival could be a really good platform to, uh, for them to exhibit their talents. Not only exhibit their talents, also like mingle with the music industry people. So they get practical resources, advices, and help. Now, yeah. is it all yeah. students, or how, or how about the partnerships? Like, who are some of the um, players, if you will, and the, uh, that oh. will be putting together this? So the festival has three different components. Um, first is the festival concerts. Uh, it's presented by um, a really amazing world-class artists, such as um, David Kim, the concert master of Philadelphia Orchestra, um, <clears throat> Pinka Stuckerman, and Martin Weber. Uh, and Gabor Takatsuneji, uh, the conductor from Verbia Festival Orchestra. Mm -hmm. um, so, and also a um, young performer like uh, Chris Kim, who's in the studio today, an 11-year-old. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a wide range of artists um, performing and presenting these concerts. And the second component is the academy. So students can take lessons and master classes um, by these masters. Okay. And then, Third component is um, the conference that we present the panel discussions, so that um, under um, various topics, uh, so young artists, uh, graduates of uh, university and conservatories, they can um, hear so many different. Um, get so many different resources. Right. And, yeah. So is it a week long or how long is the festival? Uh, festival is a week long. It is a week yeah. long. It's going to be an annual festival. Yeah. Annual festival, yeah. week long, yeah. covering the three components that you just mentioned. Yes. Let's yeah. bring in Eric Silberger now. He's a violinist, is also a performing artist with the festival this year. Yes. How did you become associated with it? Well, um, it, classical music world is very small. And actually, I, I travel about 11 months a year. Um, and I met Clara through some mutual friends initially, but we've just been really uh, having a joy making music together and also uh, just kind of traveling. We see the same people in different countries and different places and it's been really a joy to kind of see the bridges between all those. I think that's part of where Classical Bridge, the name came from, mm -hmm. the bridge between all those. As culturally uh, uh, diverse, you know, on the artistic level as New York is, you know, was it a hard sell to get other people to say, you know, let's spotlight on classical music versus it's so easy to go in hip hop or, or, or one of the other ones, you know? Was it easy or hard well, to get people on board? Mozart was a pop musician of his day. Okay. Yeah. And actually, I think everybody loves classical music even if they don't realize it. Exactly. There's so much classical music as part of the culture that we don't even realize is classical music. And classical music for me is just something really close and dear to me because it's part of who we are as human beings, as part of the culture. It comes from that and it's a way to connect to our past and to our roots and also to our present with new music being written today even. 
Okay, so talking about connecting with our past now, Chris Kim, you're 11 years old. Your connection is a little bit shorter than the rest of us <laughs> on this um, the couch. But now, how did you? Now you're a student in the program, right? Yes. Okay. Violin. How did you come by way of choosing the violin as your instrument, young man? Well. When I was young, my father was... <laughs> Did you just say when I was young? <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, Chris, do your thing. <laughs> so when I was really young... <laughs> well, my father loves music, so we always, like, went to concerts. And I really loved the sound of the violin. And I tried it when I was... when I was age of four. And... I came to here. Okay. I understand that you and Eric are going to be uh, showing us uh, an example of what we can expect, you know, at the uh, festival, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll give you some time to do that. We like the sound of the violin as well. So you take it away. Okay. This okay. is Vittorio uh, Chardas's, um, I mean, Victorio Monti's Chardas. And this is a piece we've rearranged for two violins. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Clara, when and where is the festival? Yeah. For people looking for more information, what can we let them know? Oh, Classical Bridge, www.classicalbridge.org. You can find all the information of the concerts, academy, and conference. All right, you have to check them out. Very nice. So nice to meet you both, and good luck to you again. Thank you so much. All right.